Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the Mina channel and today we are going to be talking about one of the games that I've been looking forward to for a while and uh, honestly with this game I'm just kind of cautious overall because I just I just want to make sure this game is going to be good. There's a lot of things that make me worried about it. There's a lot of things that I'm kind of like, I think it's going to be good. And this is Star Wars Fallen Order. So Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is the newest game by EA. EA has been owning, uh, uh, owning the uh, rights for the games uh, for um, Star Wars for like over almost 10 years almost. And they have come out with some pretty shitty ones so far. If you can recall so <laughs> without doubt uh, it's been pretty worrying uh how's how's this game being handled and what's going on and everything but um looking at the trailers looking at things that's been going on interviews and so on it looks like it's doing pretty good um however um from what i heard earlier um the last day or two basically a bunch of people were able to go on and take a look at the game and play it and everything and there's a bunch of articles about it because that's what ea wants you to do they want you to review their game and look at what you think about it and talk about it so let's talk about it <laughs> and uh, obviously i didn't play it but i heard a lot of people that have been playing the game or, or got to play the game i think they played about three hours of the game and everything and it sounds pretty good so far there's a lot of things about what they talked about um, the gameplay itself the um uh, story uh, there's a lot of stuff that they talked about and it sounds really positive so far things that i've been uh, frankly pretty worried about so uh, the biggest thing that i've been hearing about is that this game feels or plays a little bit like dark souls or it's just for once actually like it's actually in some aspects like dark souls um and that is exciting <laughs> i'm a huge fan of the souls games i'm not entirely super good at it but i really do enjoy the games a lot i think that the uh, souls games are one of the best uh game series out there and i just really enjoy the gameplay for what it is and everything like that um so i heard the gameplay being compared to something like that with much like hack and slash third person type of uh fighting style and everything like that um i heard some people just say that it's okay or uh, you know not entirely game breaking you know like uh, game changing or anything like that but it's still pretty exciting to see uh, the game doing good uh, a lot of people are talking about how uh, it plays how it looks the feel of the actual fights and everything like that so um just everything that i heard so far about it it's pretty neat and interesting um this game is also not an open world game which i uh, i think we already knew that it wasn't but it's not exactly linear either so apparently you're able to go to this it's almost like a open hub world that's what i call it open hubs so uh think of games like the last um god of war game uh, in that game particularly you could um look at these different go to these different locations you could still explore a little bit and and you're still rewarded for exploring and everything like that uh but at the same time you have these different uh, smaller open areas that you can explore and everything like that uh apparently you can travel to different worlds and and uh discover things and everything like that and i heard that you're pretty well rewarded for exploring and trying to find stuff and everything like that and in a souls like fashion uh you are able to find um hidden passages that takes you to different places to back to the beginning that kind of stuff like that which is pretty much one of the staples for for a souls game i believe uh the uh, XP for uh, recovery for something like the uh, the game because the game has a skill tree and you can gain XP and everything like that and apparently once you die you lose the XP just like in Souls games and you're able to reco recover that XP by going to the, the area kind of, kind of almost like in, in that sense it feels like that uh, so honestly all of this stuff that i've been listening to sounds like it's gonna be a pretty solid game um i'm going here in the in the side of cushion ea hasn't been delivering lately uh i've been let's be frank in like a decade or two <laughs> uh so i don't i don't know what to say at this point of, as far as that but i am excited for this game am i gonna get it yes i'm gonna get it it might be in a fool maybe maybe not um uh, i think that uh there's a good chance that this game could definitely flop just based on 
on uh, being EA, uh, but at the same time, it could be a really good game. Uh, I believe uh, the people behind our Respawn Entertainment has done some really good games, um, particularly the last few games that I've they worked on, uh, meaning things like the Apex Legends of the uh, Titanfall games, which are one of my favorite games on the shooting genre type of thing. Uh, so definitely, just just excited to to see what's gonna happen next with the uh, with this uh, game. Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm scared for it. I hope that everything goes well for uh, the game. But at the same time, I just don't want to be cheated again. I think that's the biggest thing for for somebody that is kind of excited for a Star Wars game with a, with the brand of EA. Uh, you may or may not like this game. <laughs> Anyway, that is pretty much it in my discussion slash news video for today. Are you guys excited for this game? Not at all. Uh, do you like the Souls games at all? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for today, guys, and I'll see you next time.